All right. Hi, guys. So, there are two things I wanted to discuss for this video. And the first one, this time I will start with the more exciting one, I guess, for other people. I'd say it's more exciting for other people, not as exciting for me compared to the second one. But let's start first and talk about the final announcement for WoW Classic. So I got my little printout here so I don't need to memorize everything. But basically, they announced that it's going to launch August 27th. So many people were like, oh my god, this is past summer break. It's right before school and it's still so crazy to me to see how many young people play because I just feel like for most of WoW's peak, that was so many years ago that now they're adults and they don't have to worry about summer break, but you know, kids keep coming, we keep reproducing, and we keep overpopulating. So I don't really care that much about the date that it's coming out. They did also announce that there would be closed beta starting tomorrow actually, May 15th. So here it says, to fill our pool of beta and stress test participants, we'll be choosing dedicated players who meet select criteria from both the WoW Classic beta opt-in and the standard Warcraft beta opt-in. Participants will also need to have an active subscription or active game time on their Battle.net account. So that seems a little bit unclear, but I guess it makes sense that they don't want to give beta access to people that aren't paying them at the present moment. But on the other hand, they definitely would want to grab inactive players to start paying them again. So originally when I saw that, I was thinking, oh hey, I might need to sub to the game again in order to get beta access. But then when I thought more on a deeper level, I realized that beta access is kind of meaningless to me because to be honest, I don't think my stance has ever changed on Blizzard for a long time now. So let's recap. I just don't like them at all. I, don't, I kind of view them as a trash game company and I don't like the idea of giving them money, especially for something like a beta where I don't really feel like I'll get that much gameplay out of it anyways. I feel like initially I'll feel special and I'll be excited to log in. But once again, I will log in and realize that I don't want to level and then need to do it again later when they release it. So that was kind of my thought process in thinking, you know, me subbing and paying them $15 a month. I don't want to do that just for a chance at this beta because I know that I most likely won't really want to play the beta all that much because I'm pretty sure I would find more enjoyment out of something like Dota Auto Chess or even Dota the game itself, which I have been trying to play more of lately for the battle pass. So yeah, even though the beta will be out, I do think that the first batch will most likely be streamers. Makes sense, right? So streamers and inside people that know and have maybe personal connections to employees in Blizzard. And then maybe the subsequent ones for the stress testing will be more public people. But still, I kind of think that I've decided to briefly be excited about this announcement that it's coming, but also kind of forget about it and just be like, if when it comes, I'll try it out and play it. But I really do not want to put that much focus on it because I don't respect Blizzard as a company at all anymore. So association with them doesn't make me happy. I guess overall, still very exciting that they announced it at last. It is a couple months after they intended since they did say summer. Another thing that I constantly think about is partial sadness that I won't have my gladiator mount on this new classic character because they are clearly different and that totally makes sense. But it does make me a little sad because that priest, my priest, is my beloved character and because they butchered the game across expansions, it feels like I can't use her and I can't play her, even though she has all of my hard-earned stuff on her and everything she has, I just feel like I, I really liked everything I acquired, so there's a lot of meaning behind it, you remember all the memories, and now that I'm playing on Classic, sure, Maybe the gameplay will be more enjoyable since it's back to what I remembered it to be, but it will be a different character, so that will suck. In terms of class, 
I have considered thinking about trying other classes because I was trying to think about what it was like for priests during vanilla and admittedly I did not play much vanilla. My dominant playing time was in Burning Crusade so vanilla will actually be a little new for me. So I don't remember what it was like for priests. I think from what I remember Shadow Priest didn't really exist. I think it was mostly holy from what I can remember but that might not be a big issue for me because I enjoy healing and honestly I think the biggest aspect about trying to play a priest again for classic will be the excitement of all of my spells again because I remember back then I had like four full bars of spells now I can manage with three and well no two I would say two because what I consider to be a bar is just an entire one so that at least in default while they have bottom left bottom right, the one right above your main one, right? So I would consider that to be one full bar. So nowadays, I think I can fit all my spells onto two bars, but back then it was so packed. And honestly, I think even with four, yeah, I think even with four, maybe I couldn't fit everything. I would have to try to turn stuff into macros to try to save space. So anyways, um, I'm sure other people are much more excited about this than I am because um, when it comes to me, if I dislike someone or something, I tend to do it very strongly. And that's kind of how I feel towards Blizzard. So even though this is something that I have been anticipating, I still don't want to put too much hope into it because I just don't have faith in the company. All right, now let's move on to the second update. So my Montana Idaho trip was coming up this weekend, right? So I have been looking forward to this trip for a long time now, ever since I booked it basically. And ever since I got back from New Mexico, I was thinking, yeah, three weeks of work and then I'm off again. So today I checked the forecast for Victor, Idaho. And it turns out that it's going to be high 50s and raining and snowing every single day I'm there. At first I was thinking, oh, that's fine if Montana is just gonna be sunny and I'll be happy there, but Turns out, Montana is also raining every single day I'm there. So basically, every single day of my vacation is gonna rain or snow in both of those locations. So when I saw that, I was so, so sad. I think the first few hours of me knowing about that predicament, I was thinking, oh my God, my vacation is ruined. But then after taking some time to think and after I spoke to my dad about it, I decided to change my reservation because honestly there is no point in me going there if I'm not going to do the stuff I want. Why would I want to drive 15 to 18 hours to just sit indoors in a, someone else's home while it's raining where I won't have my own computer and all my normal stuff that I can do. So my first issue was that my first Airbnb is a little bit too soon to cancel. If I wanted to cancel, I would lose $360 for my first Airbnb. And that is a lot of money because I'm basically not getting any of my payment back for those full nights. And Montana, on the other hand, I was able to get everything back except Airbnb fees because of the fact that it's still one week prior. So at first I was thinking if I canceled both, I would lose 90 for my Montana. So $450 total to lose for not going anywhere. So I was thinking I cannot do that. And I finally settled on something that I think works out pretty well. And I just hope that it will work out in the end. So when I did actually go and check average temperatures or the average weather for Phillipsburg, Montana, I saw that I actually stupidly chose a time where it tends to rain a lot may and it's not actually that hot there yet both places are in the 40s to 50s which is a little bit colder than i would like probably way colder than i would like i was looking at the calendar for my idaho airbnb and seeing what days they have available so in july he has three nights available which is the same amount of nights i was planning on staying originally and it's um the 17th to the 20th so I decided to move that Airbnb to those dates and then I canceled my Montana one and then I decided to find another Airbnb to align with those new dates because I would have used 
my original Airbnb actually for Montana, but unfortunately they don't have availability that lines up with Idaho. And Idaho is the important one that I need to keep because I don't get my money back if I cancel. So yeah, I found another one that I saw originally, but I actually passed on this Airbnb because it was more expensive. I decided to go with it because it has similar traits to what I wanted from my original one, which is just a lot of land to myself. And I really, really wanted that feel of just walking out my door and seeing like grass everywhere, green fields, like just being able to see out really far and not seeing anybody else, not seeing another home and just knowing that all of that land is to myself. So I was able to book another Airbnb in Montana. So basically my trip has been moved until mid July. And that is um, very, very upsetting though still, I guess. Maybe it's definitely for the best because I think mid-July is probably the warmer season in those areas and I am really, really hoping that it'll be sunny there. I feel like it needs to be sunny for at least one day in both locations that I'm hiking because Honestly, some of these hikes that I've found look so beautiful, so, so, so beautiful that I cannot, I was so eager to go there and hike and see these things. That's why there's no way that it makes sense for me to go when it's raining and snowing. So yeah, I uh, was originally anticipating running away from work at the end of this week and not being there and just being able to slack off, but no, I'll be here at work as usual the whole month now and then I will be having my trip home in July so July will be busy now because I will be going home for the July 4th weekend for the wedding so I think right after that I'll be at work for a week and then I'm gonna be going on my trip hopefully I'll be going on my trip this time but in between that I have a small trip I need to make to Vegas when my parents close on their house. Those are my two updates and I don't even know if I'm that happy about either of them. Maybe? Maybe not? I hope you guys are at least excited about Classic more than me and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.